right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are at investment property number two. I've got one previous video on this. Um, this is the rehabbing um, a smoker's house video. So we got a little ways with it. Um, we're actually going to put it up for sale here pretty soon. So I decided on the mobile homes that I bought that I'm going to, so I've already done it to two houses. I've got videos on those previous ones. I don't know which which order they're in, but I've got two previous mobile homes that I bought, went through, quickly did everything. I sold the mobile home and rented the land um, because I don't really want maintenance or the liability of renting out mobile homes. And these things are, this one's actually the nicest one. The other two are 1970s. They're, they were pretty dilapidated and... Um, uh, just the, yeah, the maintenance would eat me alive. So, um, yeah, stuff I don't want to deal with really. This is like a 2002 Harbor something home, Palm Harbor, something like that. Um, so we went through, we did more work to this one than any other one. And we're going to get quite a bit more money out of this one, hopefully than any other one. And, um, and then if someone wants to take the mobile home, they can take it. If they want to leave it here and rent the land, and I'll probably try to get four or five hundred a month out of the lot. Um, but yeah, so if you haven't seen the previous video, check it out before or after this one, and I'll give you a walkthrough. We still got a few small details. So we had all new carpet put down. We didn't touch anything inside the living room, um, but we had new carpet put down. Pretty much through the entire house. Didn't touch this room at all. Um, check the furnace. That's all good. I've got to get a latch. We've we've washed all the walls. I got to get a latch to the furnace door. Um, we haven't really touched this bathroom besides cleaning it. Um, so not too terrible. Have not touched this room. Unfortunately, when the Carpet guys came and pulled up carpet. They ripped some of the, uh, what is that called? The vinyl or whatever off the sheetrock. Kind of sucks, but I don't even think I'm going to mess with that. Um, like I said, these mobile homes, they're, they're going for quite a bit more, but still not enough to do a bunch of work. So I'm going to try to get 36000 is what we decided to post this guy for. Um, yeah, so still have all my construction mess right here we're going to clean that up we haven't done much to the kitchen except clean it and put in a dishwasher and we took the washer and dryer out and put it in one of the other houses for the sale haven't done much to this the the place was really dirty we might still come through and clean up this stuff but vinyl sheetrock doesn't clean up that well so this was the really bad room. This is actually the thumbnail to the previous video on how, so woman lived in here, smoked several packs a day, I would assume, and it was really, really bad. So I came in here, kills the room twice. Um, you can kind of see some of the, some of the paint screw ups, it, this flat, vinyl sheetrock with a uh eggshell paint is just it you see everything you're actually seeing that a lot better on camera than you can see with your eyes so came in here and just kills the whole entire room with a sprayer and then we brushed rolled on a chocolate paint to kind of uh cover up things a little bit better um still haven't done trim um, but in the pictures, you can't see the trim, so um, not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and post it and see how that goes. So haven't had to do anything to the closet. Left that alone. We came in here. We had to put down a new subfloor, a uh, half-inch subfloor. Replaced the floor in this. It was really... Uh, I don't think the floor looked terrible, but it was really squeaky and weak. So came in here, did LVP. This is about $300 probably worth of uh, luxury vinyl plank. Scrubbed the shit out of the tub and the shower surround with baking soda and a buffing machine for a car. 
that thing was completely yellowed. Um, we still got to do trim, so we've done baseboard trim, put the toilet back in, cleaned it, got it sealed up, fixed the plumbing back here. They had a plumbing little nightmare, put this cabinet back, and other than that, just painted things. We still have light fixtures. Um, and whatever I'm going to do with this, you can kind of still see the the dirt and everything that was inside the house. So we might come and honestly just might remove that. I'm not sure. And and then we've got some little trim details and the toilet. Oh, well, toilet paper hangers here. So just a shower, shower rod. Vent covers I got to clean or replace. Those were really yellow. Floor feels super solid. So yeah. That is uh, pretty much all. If we sell the house and rent the property, we're going to have to turn around and basically put 100% of the profit back into a fence to separate off the properties here. So, and then gravel because our road base or whatever, because it is super muddy outside. You just sink down the lot of clay and everything there's no base in the driveway and then so that's the other thing is uh um if they try to move this they won't be able to move it during the winter they'll have to wait till spring uh, i've got that shed let me see if that's my oh that's that window i think that's that window being dirty so we remodeled that shed put a new roof on it put new doors on it locks on it siding i've got another video of that guy um, these windows are super dirty. So yeah, just very, very muddy outside. Old roof off the old shed. But if I sell the house, I'm going to put a fence right through here. And I'm going to put another gate over here to give them their own driveway. And I'll bring in, um, I'll bring in a bunch of gravel. I think it's sellable though. The only thing we got here little bit dirty. I didn't want to paint the whole damn ceiling over that. You can't just paint this little bit. You'll end up having to paint the entire ceiling. And then where do you stop at? It just goes throughout the whole damn house. So I'm going to try to clean this a little bit and then put... I already got the vent cleaned. That was super dirty and gross. Um, so still got that to patch up, but... Honestly, I think it's getting close to the point where it's uh, it's sellable. People are losing their minds over these mobile homes right now. And uh, yeah. So the only other thing I don't know is we've been sub sub zero for quite a long time. And we pumped anaf uh, polypropylene antifreeze, basically uh, RV antifreeze, through the water system, dumped it in the toilets. So I'm hoping it didn't freeze anything. So yeah, there's an update on this house. I didn't do much of an update on the other one. Oh, we had the vents totally cleaned in these houses. I had a, I had a vent cleaning company come clean the vents out in every house. Um, just because it's super reasonable to do. We were really fighting with the smoke smell in here. I don't know how many months we've had this house now. We've left ozonators running, cleaned, washed walls, and done everything. So uh, we've really um, tried... They, they smell good now. They, uh, yeah, there's no, no leftover smells or anything like that. But we bought this house and didn't really look at it. We bought this property. I've got some videos on that with three other houses or whatever on it. We bought everything and the, the deal was still right, but every house was just really bad condition. So. Um, we've got two other houses rented out. We've got one that is probably not fixable for under a hundred grand. Um, so we're just going to leave it alone for, for quite a long time and, uh, see how this goes. So yeah, check out my other videos. This one was, uh, I'll try to link it. I don't know how to link videos in here, but it was investment property number two smoking rehab house. So, um, yeah. It was pretty rough condition to begin with. You can subscribe, follow along, and uh, 
we're gonna have some more videos coming up um, I've always got lots of projects going we've got seven different businesses we're running and a hundred different pans in the fire so um, like and subscribe thanks for watching we'll see you the next time